Parmigiani Fleurier is more than just a name in fine Swiss watchmaking. It's more than a watch manufacturer created in 1996 in Fleurier, in the canton of Neufchâtel. Parmigiani Fleurier are timepieces with extra soul, the luxury of an extra soul brought by the craftsman in love with the perfect movement, driven more by his passion of watch mechanics in all their beauty than the profits generated in the sector. Parmigiani Fleurier is above all a man and a specialist in restoration. Michel Parmigiani, who, with his fingertips, touches the mystery of watch movements in all their technicality. This is done through his work restoring exceptional pieces, such as this singing bird gun that required 5,000 hours of work, and by creating watches that have nothing in common with others on the market. Spotlight on the Touric model, one of the first created by the manufacturer. A name given in reference to the Greco-Roman columns typical of the architecture of Vitruvius in the first century BC. It's an automatic winding movement, the 331 caliber that we designed entirely as an in-house movement is a true manufacturer movement. The case with its dial is the same as the one we started with in our early stages. And that was the Toric, with a double or triple gaudron. So it's these circular flutes on the bezel. It has soft iron links on the bezel with these specific proportionate widths and it's always balanced by the gold ratio. The golden ratio, or the divine proportion, initially defined in geometry is approximately 1.618, the result of an equation between the different measurements of an object. A principle of impeccable proportions, which is clearly found on the Toric, but also in architecture and nature. This is why it never ceases to inspire Michel Parmigiani, who is always in search of the perfect aesthetic. Perfect also, the aesthetics of the oval pantograph, a model with an amazing history. This pocket watch was restored in 2007 by the manufacturer, a model created in two copies by English watchmakers. One copy is found at the Sandoz collection and the second at the Patek Philippe Museum. In 2013, Parmigiani Fleurier decided to release an equivalent model in a wristwatch version, which has since continued to evolve to the delight of collectors. There are two particularities of this watch, the hands which perfectly follow at equidistance, the oval of the dial, and which are made of a set of components, 31 to be exact. These components are guided by cams, a forced cam. Everything has been analyzed to know exactly the maximum acceleration they can withstand. Two limited edition models are to be released in 2017, 50 copies for the rose gold model and 50 copies for the white gold model with an 18 karat solid gold movement and also a guilloche barley grain dial with indexes and aluminum hands to reduce the weight to the maximum. One model this year at Parmigiani Fleurier has particularly attracted the interest of collectors of beautiful mechanics, the Bugatti Aerolith Performance, a performance watch born from the marriage between fine watchmaking and the world of luxury automobiles, which blends exceptional technology as its name suggests. The partnership between Parmigiani Fleurier and Bugatti dates back to 2004 with the Bugatti 370 and its transversal tubular movement that was completely revolutionary at the time and has since continued, always on the basis of specific movements. This new Bugatti Airlift Performance watch from 2017 was designed according to the Bugatti Chiron. For example, the pattern found on the leather seats of the car 
is applied on the strap and dial of the watch. But it also refers back to the Bugatti Aerolith, a prototype of a much older car, where the two parts of the bodywork were attached together lengthwise to form a backbone. It's an ancien model de Bugatti. It's a former Bugatti model from 1936. It's a little tribute to the Aerolith via the crest of the vehicle, since it was made of riveted aluminium. And we wanted to do the restoration. Bugatti has a similar philosophy to us. That means that first we concentrate on the engine. The engine must be powerful, and then we fit the body around it. It's the same restrictions we have when we develop a new caliber with our manufacturing team. Another reference to the Bugatti Chiron, the blue and red, the emblematic colors of this legendary car, with a more technical and sporty bicompact style and a stylized EB logo, not to mention two counters that resemble a brake disc. In summary, we added two tachometers, one in base 1000 in kilometers per hour and the other in miles per hour in blue. All the information in blue is in miles and all the info in red is in kilometers per hour. The Bugatti takes 2.4 seconds to go from 0 to 100, 6.5 seconds to go 0 to 200, 13.6 seconds for 0 to 300 and 33.5 seconds to reach 400 kilometers per hour. It's the fastest out there. On the chronograph side, they adapted to the demands of the automotive world, where every second is precious, with the complication of a flyback chronograph, a chronograph that resets itself and sets off instantaneously with a single push. Here we're using a flyback movement. Here you can see the push buttons are integrated in the lugs, so they go across the whole case. And that's part of the signature Parmigiani lug, a distinctive sign of the brand. Another model that has been the pride of the house of Parmigiani Fleurier is the Tonda. The name Tonda is born from the round form or tableaux by Raphael and Michelangelo that are discovered in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. Round paintings designated by the Venetian word Tondo. New for 2017 is that the Tonda incorporates pieces of meteorite in its dial. Obviously, there are colors and colorations that are part of the aesthetic, this aesthetic research. What's important is that in this family, the case is titanium, which is polished and complete because it's not often you have titanium that's well finished and well polished. There's titanium, but there's also meteorite. Meteorite's nice because it has a relationship with time and space. So this meteorite comes from somewhere. I don't know where, but it has traveled through space and time to land on the Earth. So there's a notion of time that's connected to meteorite. I must say, in Asia, men are very receptive to that. It's all about symbols, like we find symbols in hard and semi-precious stones. There's a whole symbolism, and meteorite is part of it. If the SIHH is the occasion to unveil and reveal the most luxurious models of the year, it is also an opportunity to discover another master craft at Parmigiani Fleurier, restoration work. A perfect example is this Fabergé egg offered by the very rich Prince Yusupov to his wife Irina, niece of Nicholas II for their 25th marriage anniversary and which is part of the Sandoz collection. An historic and fine watchmaking treasure that Parmigiani Fleurier restored 10 years ago and which has been exceptionally displayed at the SIHH. The restoration was really the discovery of a watch heritage. 500 years of watchmaking history passed through my hands. So I discovered this theme of striving for excellence. 
In every era in history, there was this goal of achieving excellence and harmony, and that really helped me create the contemporary version. Between heritage, aesthetics, and inventiveness, Parmigiani-Fleurier never ceases to mark history as one of the great watchmakers of all time.